What's up guys, welcome back to Tech Phantom and in this video we are going to take a deep comparison between the Mediatek Dimensity 900 5G and the, and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 780G. So in this video we will talk about the camera performance, video capturing, display, maximum display resolution the which the processor can support and the 5G speeds, 5G networks and everything you should know about these processor regarding to the Geekbench scores and also the Antutu scores. So hold your seats and subscribe to our channel Tech Phantom if you haven't done it already and let's get started. So the very first let's start off with the launch date. The Dimensity 900 is launched recently and two days before on May 2021 whereas the Snapdragon has been launched on the March 2021. Moving on to the CPU architecture. Both of these processors are octa-core and 64 bits and the Snapdragon 780 is a Cryo 670 at 2.4 GHz. Now if we talk about the CPU cores, these processors have a 2 cores of 2.4 GHz Cortex-A78 and 6 cores of 2 GHz Cortex-A55 in the Mediatek Dimensity 900 5G. Whereas on the Snapdragon variants, it's a bit different architecture. On the cores and it's one core of 2.4 gigahertz cortex a78 three cores of 2.2 gigahertz cortex a78 and also the four cores of the power efficient 1.9 gigahertz of cortex a55 now if we talk about the processor fabrication which is the processor size it's the mediatek dimensity is of 6 nanometer whereas the 780 has a better at a 5 nanometer so it will be much more power efficient now if we move on to the next one which is the GPU and it's mainly for the gaming and the task intense force then the 900 comes with the Mali G68 MC4 and the Snapdragon comes with the Adreno 642 at 490 MHz. Moving on to the machine learning and the AI, there is the machine learning and AI is present on both of these phones but it's not specified on the Mediatek Dimensity 900 but on the Snapdragon it's the Hexagon 770. Now the maximum RAM support which we both of these processors can support for the MediaTek it's 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM at 32MHz which is the faster one when compared to the 12GB of LPDDR4X RAM at 2133MHz. On the display support, the maximum display resolution and the refresh rate, the MediaTek comes with a full HD plus display at 120Hz and the, whereas the Snapdragon has a different one with a MediaTek running on the Full HD Plus at 144 MHz which is the faster refresh rate and the higher refresh rate. Now moving on to the camera support with the maximum camera support which both of these processors can handle is of 108 megapixels for the MediaTek Dimensity 900 which is the currently maximum largest sensor available in the market and the 20 plus 20 megapixel of dual camera setup whereas the snapdragon can support up to 192 megapixels 64 plus 20 megapixel of dual camera and 25 megapixel of triple camera on the video compatibility side we have a different approach over here with the dimensity having 4k at 30 fps and 1080p at 120 fps whereas the snapdragon has a 4k at 30 fps 180 p at 120 and also the slow motion also is available at 480 fps on the bluetooth side connectivity both of these processors have a bluetooth 5.0 for the connectivity and also the 5g modem there is a 5g modem supported on both of these processors on mediatek it's the helio m70 5g and whereas the snapdragon has a hexagon processor 5g modem on the now talking about the wi-fi both of these processors come with the latest wi-fi 6 supported on top of that now if we talk about ending up with a quick charging support then the mediatek has its own charging which is standard which is a pump express whereas the snapdragon has a quick charge 4 plus which stands below the quick charge 5. now ending this video summing up with the antutu benchmark scores it scores 4,76,000 on the Mediatek Dimensity 900 5G and 5,1,900 on Snapdragon S780. On the Geekbench scores, which is on the both of these processors are also a bit tough over here, 
with a single core of 750 and multi core of 2800 on the MediaTek and the single core of 817 and multi core of near to 3000 on the Snapdragon 780. So what do you think about both of these processor and the which phones will be coming out with this we will also be mentioning in the link in the description below. So according to you which processor is better and which one will you going to consider buying a phone having the one of these processor. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you in the very next one. Thanks for watching.